I want to welcome everyone. We're going to do a review of the LE Tech DMG 4B digital manifold gauges. And I'm going to show you what's inside the DMG 4B. All right. Y'all get a load of this right here. Look how small and compact this is right here. These are meant to be hooked up to an app. The LE Tech app it has a great app. I'm going to show you that feature also. But just in case you didn't have time to pull up the app, it does have the LED screen with it, baby, to show you your pressures on this screen here also. So the only thing that comes in this package is one main unit itself and some instructions on how to hook up to the app application. The video probably don't give it justice, but you can see how well built these gauges are. Like it built to last a lifetime. Come with a nice sight glass so you can see, see your refrigerant. It's quality knobs. You want a knob that feel good, and that it can shut on and off and kind of open it up as you need it. Number six, refrigerant connection port. It's a one cord SAE. So number eight, we have a battery compartment on the back. It comes with two AAA batteries. Accuracy, plus or minus 1% FS. Battery life, 200 hours. So I'm gonna show you how to connect the Elitech EMG 4B to your Elitech app. First, you'll go to Elitech tools in your app store, whether that's Android or iPhone. Once you have the app on your device, turn your manifold gauges on. And right now by this battery power up here is nothing. So I'm gonna press it again and you'll see a Bluetooth symbol start bleaking. Once it says search for nearby device, I'm going to toggle that on. See how fast they come up. So my DMG 4B, 4B is available. I'm gonna press that button right there. It's, it's talking to it and connecting. The beautiful display See in this top right corner is set for R11. I'm gonna change that refrigerant and we're gonna go outside to my unit, which is which my unit has 410A. This is actually 410A here, so I'm gonna check that one and save it. So now we got the right refrigerant, 410A. Well, my first impression of these, this unit right here, man, is this, this thing is super light. When I say light, I think the hoses are actually heavier than the actual main unit itself. But we're going to go uh, hook this up and we're going to get some pressure readings. Yeah, I'm hooked up to the app. You can see how fast it calculates the pressure. So you're going to have to use the old school analog way to calculate your sub cooling and superheat, which is fine. This is a compact unit, but it doesn't have a, uh, a port where you can hook up some temperature probes on here. So you'll just have to do your calculation on your own. A thermal uh, temperature clamp and hook it up to your high side and your low side. And you just do your calculation like that. So for instance, so to calculate the superheated sub cooling, you see the pencil right here. So all I'm gonna do is use my digital thermometer and go read the temperature of the liquid line and the suction line. I get my superheated sub cooling. Right. So I'm gonna put my infrared. I got 73 degrees on my liquid line. So I got 73 degrees on my liquid line. I'm gonna go to my app and I'm gonna enter 73. Okay, done. So my sub cooling is 15.7. My first impression, it's a good tool and I do uh, highly recommend it. So if anybody interested in this product, click on the link in the description below and we'll show you how you can own one for yourself.